I'm Creative Gardener and today we are going to make a heart in Illustrator. Now if you're a beginner, this is a great project for you. If you're somewhere in the middle, like you're kind of kind of know a little bit of Illustrator, this is still a great refresher and making sure that you actually use the tools that could really help you and make life a lot easier. Okay, so we're going to start out um, by coming over and using our pen tool. I'm going to grab this pen tool and if yours isn't up, and I just remembered mine is up because I was just using it, you might see this anchor point tool at the top of your menu. If that's what you see, then you're just going to push down, hold down with your mouse or your tracking pad, pull out, and a menu will arrive for you. If it doesn't, you can also hold down or right click uh, your option key while you're using your mouse or your tracking pad, okay? So come over and choose your pen tool looks like a pen, like a little ink pen. And um, we are going to make a heart. So we're gonna just do one curvature and down of the heart. So like just one side of it. So I'm gonna click somewhere on my artboard and you can see it's created an anchor point for me. You can see I've got this nice long blue line now. If I come up, you know, a little bit of a ways, like thinking I'm gonna build a curve, you're going to click down and you're going to pull. So click and pull, and you can see that it then creates this curve for me. So we're gonna do the top bump of the heart. So if I click and pull, you can see I've got a pretty decent bump right here. Okay, I'm gonna let go of it. And then I'm going to, now if I want it equalized, like see like this, which maybe I do, I'm going to leave both of those lines. Okay, in fact, let's just do it. So make sure it stays there, and I'm just going to click out and try to equalize it. Okay, so I just clicked again. Now when I clicked this time, you can see that there are no curves at all. That's great, okay? If that did not happen to you, you might have to click on that anchor point again, and that will release it basically so that it's free of curves. And then I'm gonna bring it down here. Now I can't tell where the end of this is, and that's okay. So I'm just going to guess, you can see if I'm just kind of touching it onto the um, anchor point up here, I'm not pressing down on it, I'm just touching it, it kind of shows me kind of where that line is. Um, so I'm going to click down and I'm gonna pull and you can see that it then also gives me a nice long curved line. And so I'm pulling and then I'm letting go and then I'm gonna close this thing up. So I'm gonna click on that anchor point and you can see, whoops, I clicked on it too hard, don't do that. So just Control Z and then click on it again. And you can see I have no ending now. And then I am just gonna close this off, just like that, okay? Now here's the great thing. If we really want it to be straight, if we're concerned and we want it to be straight, all we have to do is take a um, rectangle. So come over, I think my line segment tool is up, but it should be the rectangle tool for you, especially if you just opened up Illustrator. So click on that rectangle tool. We're gonna create a rectangle just like this, okay? And you can see that I can see that it's not perfectly straight, which how could it be? We were guessing, guessing. I was gonna say guesstimating, <laughs> guessing, weren't we? So grab that selection tool. You can select your heart and then you can just rotate it so that it's straight and it's sitting mostly on that line. Now it's not gonna be perfect, but it'll get you there. It'll get you really close. You can see mine right here, okay? I'm just gonna delete that rectangle, okay? So select it with your black arrow tool and then just hit your delete key. And then let's go ahead and flip out the colors here. Let's just make it black so that I can see the actual silhouette. So what I'm gonna do is swap my fill and stroke. If you have a white fill and a black stroke, I'm going to swap it. And then I'm going to make sure and click on the stroke so that it's to the front and then I'm going to click the none. Okay, so now what I've done is I've got a black fill, no stroke. That's exactly what we want. Now we're gonna duplicate this. So we're do gonna do an object, oh, no we're not. We're gonna do an edit, copy, and an edit, paste. I'm used to using my shortcut keys, okay? So we've got 
a second one here. Now we need to reflect it out because we want it to be a perfect heart, right? So your reflection tool will be under your rotation tools or your rotate tool. So here's your rotate tool. Just come down. It looks like two little triangles facing each other. Click on that. Hold down your shift key and that is key. Hold down your shift key. If you don't, it won't perfectly flip. So hold down your shift key and then just pull once to the right like um, with your mouse or your tracking pad, or you can see I'm using a bamboo tablet today. So I'm gonna pull out just like that. And you can see I get that perfect reflection. Come over to your selection tool and you can just bring it in just like that. Now you might wanna align it. So I always select everything with my black selection tool. And you can see up here, all of my align tools should appear up at the top. If it doesn't, you can also go to window, align, and that will bring up your align window down here. What I like to do is I just like to align them to the top or align them center, whatever horizontal alignment you wanna do. So I just aligned it to the top and that made a perfect heart. Now, if you do want it all together, you need to unite it with your Pathfinder window, or Pathfinder tool. We're gonna to open our Pathfinder window. So go to Window, Pathfinder, and I'm gonna select both of these heart pieces and I'm gonna choose the very first option, which is Unite. So I unite it and you can see I got a perfect heart out of that. It's a lot of steps just to make something very simple. But once you have these steps down, it will be very, very easy for you. So hopefully you enjoyed making that heart with me. Um, if you haven't tried out my free intro to Illustrator class, it's just three quick little lessons helping you get used to the workspace and figure out where things are in Illustrator. You can get that on my site at KarinaGardnerCourses.com. Um, and if you're very interested in actually making money being a designer, um, cause that is absolutely where I make my money is from designing. Um, you can get one of my courses that are very niched out to specific industries so that you can learn how to do what we do in our fields so that you can actually get a job or work online doing those things. So, and that's fabric design, silhouette designer, masterclass, paper design, um, uh, Masterclass, uh, Dingbat Design Academy, and Illustrator Academy. So I hope you have a chance to take one of those also at KarinaGardnerCourses.com, and I will see you guys later.